Hello, in this video I will show you how to use our robot cleaner Climbing Q8. In this video you can see now that our robot cleaner comes in two boxes. This is the outer box and you see here the picture of the our robot cleaner, the Q Climbing Q8 and this is the inner box. So here you see again the picture of our robot cleaner and the name and our website. To open the box you open here so these boxes are very environmental friendly, so they're all recyclable and it protects your robot cleaner. So you open and you can see here that the robot cleaner is again well protected in a box. You have here the remote control. Here you have the remote control. Here you have the user manual, the user manual and a warranty card. With this warranty card, you can register for three months extra warranty. You just go to our website, www.climent.com or you register with the email mentioned on this card. So here you have the robot cleaner. I already took the plastic off so you can see the robot cleaner really well. You see you have here three uh, protections. So I'm going to take the robot cleaner out. You can take off all the protections. Then I turn it over. You already see that there's a mop attached and two side brushes. So I'm going to put the robot cleaner aside. Then you have here an extra mop delivered with you, your package, two extra side brushes and one extra HEPA filter. Here you have a cleaning brush. The cleaning brush is to clean the dustbin out. Here you have the charging dock, the charging dock to automatically charge the robot cleaner and the charger for the charging dock. So here you have the robot cleaner and the, the remote control. The remote control needs two AAA batteries. The batteries are not included in the package. You need to buy them yourself. Here at the side, you see you have the power supply. You can turn off and then you hear a sound. So here you hear the robot cleaner is ready to clean. Here at the side you also have a QR code. You can scan this to, uh, to, then with the, to uh, control the robot cleaner with the application, the app. Here at the robot cleaner you have this. This one is to point the remote control at or to find the dock station. So if it has to automatically charge with this one, it can find the station wherever it is in your home. Here you see a button push. So you push on this button. Here you have inside the dustbin. You can take it out like this. And here you have the HEPA filter. Then this is the dustbin. You can open the dustbin here, this side. Here you have the primary filter inside and you can close the dustbin here again. You put it uh, back in with the HEPA filter towards you. So you put it back in, you press here again to close the lid. Then I am going to turn the robot cleaner upside down. Here you have four anti-drop sensors. These sensors will help the robot to see if there are any stairs or any, any edges so it cannot fall down the stairs. Here you have two side brushes. The side brushes make the dirt go inside the suction here. This here goes into the dustbin. Here you have the battery of the robot cleaner and here you have a UV light. This UV light is very important because it will help to kill all the germs, all the bacteria in your house. Here you have two adjustable wheels. These wheels will, uh, are useful for different surfaces. So if you have a carpet or something, the robot cleaner has no problem. Then here you have the water tank. So you take the water tank off So like this, this is the water tank with a mop on top of it. You have with Velcro the mop attached to it and here you just take it a little bit off. You open the water tank and here you can fill it with water. Then you close it really well so the water can't go out and then you attach the mop onto the Velcro again. If you have carpet in your home, please do not use the water tank. This is only for hard surfaces. Then you attach the 
the water tank again onto the robot. Then I turn the robot over. So here you have the remote control. So here, the, here you connect with the uh, uh, cleaner. So when you press this, the cleaner will start. Um, then here you have home. This is to get the cleaner back to the dock station. So if you want to, the cleaner to stop cleaning and go back to its station, you press this one. Then you have here this round. You can let the cleaner move forward, backward, le right or left. And here in the middle is auto. You let the cleaner automatically clean. So you press only this button, the, the robot cleaner starts to clean. Here edge means that it's going along the edges. So it goes along your walls, into the corners to really clean those areas. With the mop, again, this is only a function you can use if you don't have a carpet. So if you don't have a carpet for hard surfaces, you use the mop function to really mop the floor with, uh, with water. Here, if your robot cleaner was in sleeping mode for a while, then Wi-Fi, this will connect again with the Wi-Fi. When it's in sleeping mode, it has to connect again. This can connect with the Wi-Fi again. Then you have here powerful section or less powerful section. If you want an area to be cleaned a bit, uh, a bit better, then you can increase the powerful section. This section will be noisier as well. So if you want to have uh, to just have a, a normal cleaning with not that much noise, I recommend you go a little bit, uh, you take the powerful section a bit less. And then I press auto. So then the robot starts cleaning and you can see it's press right, the robot goes right. I press left, the robot goes left. So in your user manual, you see how to download and install the app. Here you have a QR code for uh, Apple Store or Google Play. So then you go, you can scan this QR code or you go to Google Play directly. So here you have, I am in Google Play here. And in Google Play, I am typing VBAC. Webeck is the name of the, of the app. Here you see the icon. You have an orange icon. I click here on Webeck with the orange icon. Here you see the icon a bit bigger. And then you click here, install. So then, needs to access? Yes, you accept. So then, we are waiting. So now it is downloading. We are waiting. When you have installed the program, you can click here, open. Then you see immediately login or register. Of course, you need to register because it's your first time. So register. You choose here your country and region. Uh, now we use United States. Then you enter your mobile number. Like I'm entering my mobile number. I press register. Here you have the service protocol. Uh, below you say agree. So you type agree. And then you will have a verification code. The verification code will be sent to your uh, mobile phone. So uh, when you have registered uh, the app, do you add a device? You click here, add a device. Then you have your robot cleaner. You have a QR code next to the switch. You scan this QR code. Make sure you don't move so it can uh, focus on it. So then after you scan the QR code, you have here, please follow the illustrative instructions to start the device. So you turn on the power switch on your uh, robot cleaner. You hear a voice. So it means that the robot cleaner is on. Then you type, you click next. You have here your Wi-Fi name. Make sure this is your Wi-Fi name. And all, uh, right now the app only uh, supports 2.4G. So it doesn't support uh, Wi-Fi of more than 2.4G currently. Then you would type in your Wi-Fi password and you, tip, you type next. Here, ready the device for deployment. Now you have here the front button on your device, you press it and hold it for three to five seconds. So you hear another prompt and the, the light flashes blue. Then you can confirm activation. So here you see the device is now trying to connect with your app. This might take a while. 
Then here is finish. You tick finish. You're at the home page of the app and now it's, you will see here the robot appear. Standby robot. Here you have the standby. This is the current stat status. Here is 91% is charged, the remaining power. Here you have the different programs, auto clean, mop, edge clean, stop and charge. So and here you can also uh, guide your robot into which direction it has to go. Auto clean, here you see current status auto clean. So I will click and the robot starts to clean. And you click here on the right hand side. Then you see here schedule as a second option. You click here on schedule. And then you see there's no schedule uh, yet. You add here and then on. This is the start time it will start to clean. So for example, you take 10 o'clock. You want 10 o'clock to the robot to start cleaning. You click here and it's set at 10 o'clock off. You want uh, it to clean only for one hour. So then at 11 o'clock, you, you set 11. So here you see on 10, off 11. So it's going to clean for one hour. You can see repeat. Repeat is executed once every day on weekday, weekdays, weekends. So now it's set at every day, but you can self-define. Self-defined is you choose your days. So for example, you choose, you choose uh, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday uh, as the days that, it, that uh, need the robot cleaner needs to work. You click here and here it, you, uh, you see the three days appearing. And then you click save. Now you see active time interval, there is one schedule, 10 to 11, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, and it's active. How to use it with Alexa? So you open Alexa and you click all skills. So with the all skills, you type in Webeck, the name of the app, Webeck. You search, here you have Webeck, you click on it. And then you enable, you enable the Webeck app to play with Alexa. So then you log in to your Webeck account. Then Webeck has been successfully linked to Amazon Alexa, it says. So what to do next? Close this window to discover smart home devices. So then, then we go back to Alexa. So in Alexa, you see here, discover devices. You click on discover devices. Alexa is looking for devices. If you don't find the device here, then you just go to smart home. And in smart home, you can also take and click on devices and then discover. Then Alexa is looking for devices. And then you see here again that the robot is, uh, is added to Alexa. So then now you can use a robot with Alexa. So you say, Alexa, turn on robot. Okay. So now how to change accessories. Here, for the dustbin, you open the lid, you take the dustbin out. Here you have the HEPA filter. The HEPA filter you can take out and you can wash when it's too dirty. When it's washed, don't put it back in when it's wet. Always wait until it's dry and then you can just place it back in the dustbin. Then you open the dustbin this side. You can take out the primary filter. You can wash it. You can also wash it with water and don't place it back when it's wet. Place it back when it's, uh, when it's dry. You can place it back here. So this is the way it should be inserted into the dustbin. You close the dustbin. You put the dustbin back with the HEPA filter facing you. And you close the lid. Now, how to change the side brushes? You turn over the, the uh, robot cleaner. Then you take a small screwdriver. You unscrew 
the two screws here at the uh, side brushes, one screw. Then another one. You take the side brushes off and then you replace them by new ones. So you place them on it. You put the screws back in and your robot cleaner is ready to work again. Oh.